Hi guys, in this video I'm going to talk about short channel effects in MOSFET. In fact, to discuss anything, I will take a MOS structure to start with. Let me take that here. If you're following the course in the playlist, by now you know very well this structure. In fact, here I've shown when all the terminals are grounded, when there is a depletion region under equilibrium between drain N plus to substrate and source N plus to substrate here. And I've shown the channel length. Now, coming to the topic, short channel effects. What do we mean by short channel? Which means we are reducing channel length to get to a point where the channel length is called short. So, first of all, before talking about short channel, we will see the motivation behind reducing the channel length to make it short channel. And then define what do I mean by short channel. So, coming to the why part, first thing, if you reduce the channel length of a device, the device becomes smaller, which would mean that the area taken by a MOSFET would reduce. So, to better understand this, let me take that I'm trying to implement a logic, digital logic or analog logic. Let's say that is logic one with a channel length of let's say L. And it takes an area, let's say A. If I reduce the channel length and have a different technology node in which the MOSFET area taken would be less, which means if I implement the same logic with a channel length reduced, let's say for L1, that particular technology node, the same logic can be implemented in a smaller area. So that is, let's say, logic one again. So this would be A1. So the same logic, if it is implemented with a smaller channel length MOSFETs, we would take smaller area for the same logic. Other way of seeing this is, if we take the same area by changing the technology node to L1 from L, for the same area, we can implement extra logic, let's say logic one plus some other logic, let's say logic two which means in the same area, we can actually implement more and more logic. So the same thing that happens even in uh, uh, tablets or smartphones, where nowadays we don't want to sacrifice on the screen size, but as we move from technology to technology, we are giving more and more space as we are reducing the channel length inside. Hence, we can pack more and more features in the same area. Now, as the channel length reduces, the device sizes would reduce, which would enable higher device density in integrated circuits. And now coming to the second point of why is that when the channel length reduces, we know that the drain current that flows is inversely proportional to the channel length, which means directly proportional to one over L. So when channel length reduces, the drain current would increase for a given potential. And of course, as the channel length reduces, the electron that has to travel from source to drain distance has reduced, which means electron can traverse that shorter distance in a smaller time, which means even the operating performance or the frequency of operation would increase. So let me write that down here, improves operating frequency or performance. Considering the advantages that we get when we reduce the channel length, of course, we would want to reduce the channel length. So when we reduce channel length, we would get some side effects we call short channel effects. But then when we would call this a short channel, the channel length called short channel. So let me define that here. The short channel is defined as when the length is comparable to the depletion regions, sum of source and drain side which means the depletion region on source side and the depletion region on the drain side, the sum of these two is comparable to the channel length, then we would call the channel length is short. And in fact, there are so many short channel effects. We would discuss them in sequence. For example, drain induced barrier lowering, bulk punch through, threshold voltage reduction, hot carrier effect, and so on.